it's time now for the KSL In-Depth. Talk about a cool field trip. A couple hundred kids from across northern Utah headed to Utah State University today. What did they do there? They had a conversation with people up in space. Space Dynamics Laboratory, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, Peggy and Jack, this is Charlie Precourt. Are you hearing me okay? We're hearing you great, Charlie. It's good to hear your voice. I am really jealous not to be on that side of the phone call, but it's really great. we got a room full of very excited people and, and students to talk to you. And those kids had a lot of questions for the astronauts. Expedition 51 Commander Peggy Whitson and Flight Engineer Jack Fisher. Uh, the kids wanted to know what do astronauts eat, what do they do with their garbage, and then this. Do you ever play any instruments aboard the space station? Why, that is a fantastic question. I don't. But we just so happen to have someone who does. He may be floating by now. He speaks lots of languages, plays lots of instruments. He He's not good for our self-confidence as people, <laughs> but... Uh, Kind of an amazing dude. That is our Frenchman, Thomas Pesquet. I didn't realize we have this up. The video is on the KSL News Radio app, sponsored by Any Hour Services, right now. Well, former astronaut Charlie Precourt led the conversation on the ground at USU's Space Dynamics Lab. Afterward, he talked about how important it is to expose kids to the applied sciences. I was in their seats when we were getting ready to land on the moon. And uh, I remember all of our students in my class thinking, wow, that's unbelievable. And how distant a dream it might be, yet it became real life for me and it can become real life for them for sure. So very much an intense part of my life was being able to be part of the space program. Many of the students like 10th grader Megan Allred gave this experience glowing reviews. I want to do space <laughs> because it's interesting. I learned a lot. <laughs> I probably won't go in space, but I want to work probably at, here at the Space Dynamics Lab. Representatives from Utah's aerospace industry say they depend on that kind of enthusiasm to fill out their workforce. You've been listening to The In-Depth at 15 and 45.